everyone, that manga kid here to do a reread review of Goodnight Poon Poon by Inio Asano. I have read this now twice. Um, this is a kind of dark slice of life, uh, growing up teen angst series um, that is about Poon Poon, this character here on the cover. Uh, starts out about him around 10 years old or so, up to about, I think, around 21 years old. Um, I'm just going to quickly talk about the, the physical release itself. Uh, this is a Viz signature release, two-in-ones, except for the final volume, which is just one volume, uh, which makes this, I believe, 13 in total. Yeah, 13. Um, the covers are kind of like a rubbery feeling, and then they've got these like embossed aspects to them. Uh, They've got the French flaps, which are nice, and then on the spines, this is his little beak thing. Uh, on the spine, when they line up, if you haven't seen it, it, it is Poon Poon um, on the spine. So the colors and the picture on the spine looks really, really great on your shelf. Um, the release, the physical release itself, gorgeous. I love it. This is one of my favorite um, physical releases that I own, um, just quality-wise. Really, really top-notch. Uh, by Viz. So, like I said, this is a growing up, coming of age kind of story about Poon Poon here. Uh, it's about his parents' divorce and how he deals with it. It's about his relationship with his friends growing up and growing out of friendships and uh, first love and religion and kind of dealing with God um, and, and that uh, the idea of God. It's not that he's religious, it's that. Um, you know, I think that a lot of kids go through that phase of, of, you know, God, why are you doing this to me? Like, what is the point of everything kind of thing? Um, and this is, this head is what Poon Poon kind of visualizes God to be. Um, so, this does have an explicit content warning for a reason. There are quite a few explicit sexual scenes. Um, there is violence, there is nudity, there is very heavy topics dealt with in this series. Um, so be forewarned about that. This is not a lighthearted slice of life that you're going to laugh and have a good time with. This is a dark, um, I would say comedy. There is some comedic elements to this, but they're all very dark humor kind of things. Um, there's a sarcasm to Poon Poon that I really relate with and appreciate. Um, He's, he's quite sarcastic, and it's kind of told, um, it's not, like, told from him, like, he's not the one telling the story, um, it's, it's told, like, about him from a third-person perspective, I guess, um, so he, his parents, and his uncle all look like these weird little things, um, but everybody else is a regular looking person. Inu Asano, beautiful art as always with the picture, uh, landscapes, backgrounds and whatnot. Um, and then the character designs just looking really, really great. Um, there's the uncle down there. Um, yeah, really, really cool. And it's, it's interesting to see how Poon Poon grows up because he does look this, like this strange little thing here. But as he gets older, you can see that his, his, he does change. And like on this volume here, he's in his late teens, early 20s, I guess. Um, and he's just, he still looks like that, but he's got like a person body. And there are moments here where it kind of comes out of that. Like you never see his face, um, but there are moments where you will see his body drawn like a regular person. Uh, randomly at, at certain points but for the most part he is this like he looks like a little ghost bird thing to me um but anyway this is a wonderful series it's so well told i will say that i have found from my own personal experience and talking to other people who have read this series that if you have not struggled with mental illness yourself or have witnessed it like personally through someone you know, um, this might be a hard one to connect to. I personally found it immediately gripping and easy to connect with because of um, 
like the depression and anxiety that Poon Poon experiences, I have experienced that. So I felt it super, super quickly, um, like a deep connection with this character and what he was going through and, and the people around him and what they were going through. Um, it was so easy to get the dark humor and the sarcasm and the and the overwhelming sadness that was just en enveloping this entire series. Um, you know, it was really easy to connect to all of that. But I found that people that I know who haven't struggled with any of that have found this to be hard to get into. Um, and that's fair. I mean, there have been stories that I've read that, that when I have no connection to what's going on in the story, personally, it's hard to find it, um, you know, gripping when it's so personable like this. Um, this is a real, like, this is slice of life, teen angst, coming of age, that's all this is. Um, you know, there's some dramatic elements to it, but at the core of it, you're just watching this kid grow up and, and watching him be sad and, and trying to navigate through his, his youth, um, what with all of the ridiculous things happening around him. So, yeah. If you haven't read this, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I will absolutely read this again multiple times. It was such a great ride, and the second time I read it through, I caught so many things that I didn't catch the first time. Inua Sano's stuff is really, really better taken in more than once. Um, you catch a lot more things when you read it again. So definitely recommend reading it, and, and don't just read it once, because there were so many things that were super important that I just didn't notice the first time, that the second time I read it through, I was so shocked that I missed that the first time. Um, and I'm sure that when I read it again in the future, I will find more things that I didn't catch. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in this series. So definitely, you know, buckle up, sit down and, and you know, read it and really, really pay attention to it because it definitely deserves that attention. Anyway, if you have any questions or you've read Goodnight Poon Poon, which I'm sure a lot of you have, um, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thanks for watching. See you.